welcome to another installment of Tots and Toys Online. Hope you're keeping well. Now today we're going to be going under the sea and I have Bob with me to keep me company. Why don't you go and grab your soft toy so you can enjoy a video together. So today our craft is to do with under the sea. Let's get stuck in. Okay, so our craft today is going to be all to do with under the sea and this is what we'll be making. That's going to be a picture with lots of fish and the fish will be made using our thumbprints, our fingerprints and even our hands. Let's get stuck in. Right, so first you need a piece of paper, ideally A4, but it could be bigger or smaller, but this is basically going to be sort of the background of your under the sea picture. Next, you'll need some paint, any color really. So imagine whatever color fish there is. I mean, it could be magical fish, which means it could be all sorts of interesting colors, but fish come in all sorts of different colors. So just pick up whatever color you like. Some paint brushes, a cup of water, and then what you need is something uh, on which you can put some paint so that it's easier for you to uh, make your fingerprints. So anything that's plastic, any old packaging, or maybe you have a paint tray, you can use that, but I don't have a paint tray, so I'm gonna use that. And I'm gonna put a bunch of different paint on it and I'll show you later how that works. And then you will need a pencil green colouring in pencil. This is not essential but if you have some baby wipes to hand it would be good because then you can wipe your fingers as you go and uh, it's not going to create quite as much mess. You need a sharpie or a felt tip, any sort of felt tip marker. Um, black would be best because uh, that would work best for the eyes. Okay let's get started. Right so first of all what we're going to do is we're going to draw our under the sea uh, background. Again, I am reminding you that I'm no artist and this is going to be really simple. So we'll start by just drawing a line anywhere, sort of near the, the top of the page there like that, to make it a water line. So basically the top of the sea, so, so to speak. So I'm just going to do like a, a wavy pattern um, and it can be beautifully intricate or it could just be literally a line. Uh, so let's go ahead and do that. Right, so I have now drawn my line and what I'm going to do now is I'm going to draw some seaweeds on the bottom of the seabed. So uh, again, this does not require a lot of artistic prowess, just sort of do little lines going up like that. And then maybe a small one. And then maybe really, 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 really tall ones. And so, and keep going until you are happy with your picture. Right, so I have now finished uh, putting colour to my seaweed. Um, I'm happy with this picture. And now what I'm going to do is start to create fish using my fingers. Okay, so now I have got some paint put on my tray. I've got a green, a yellow and a red. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to use my thumb to put, to just get a little bit of paint. It would be better to just get a bit of paint on my fingertip and then do this just to make it more even. Okay, and now I'm going to just, just print anywhere really, like that. Okay, okay, so now I've got a little splodge. Okay, so I'm going to do a few. I'm going to do a few yellow fish. Okay. Right, that's a really small fish, but maybe I'll give it a bit more paint. There we go. Right, now another way I could do it is by using a paintbrush and painting the paint on my finger. So I'm going to do that with the next colour. Right, so I've put paint all over my thumb. Do you see? Now I'm going to go higher up. There we go, there's one there, there's one there, and maybe do another yeah. one. Now if you look at the shape of your print, 
If you use your thumb, you actually already have something that looks like a fish. This one almost looks like its tail and so, and this one actually has a really good imprint as well. So you, what you could do is you could just leave it at that, just have loads and loads of fingerprints. But what we could do to make it more interesting is we could put some eyes onto it. So we will do that once it dries. So you need to leave it to dry for maybe half an hour because there's, there wasn't going to be a lot of paint on your on your fingers or thumbs. So you could leave it like that. Um, and also what you could do is you can do this with your hand. So let me show you what it looks like if it's a child's hand that has been stamped on. Right, so before I uh, paint the um, paint on my child's hand, I just wanted to say something quickly. Um, it's a really good idea for you to make sure that the paintbrush is reasonably wet. So um, it's quite important because if it's very dry and you've got loads of paint on the palm of, of their hand, uh, it dries very fast because you don't have time to paint it quickly enough. So let's see what it looks like when you put the paint on a child's hand. And should look like it should be nice and painted and uh, now we're going to put it onto the piece of paper. Right, so now your child's hand is on the piece of paper. Really push it down, okay, and then lift it up. Lift it up. Oh, look. This is a really... And then what you do is you put a, an eye in here and then you can make it a nice big fish. Okay, so we're going to let it dry and then we're going to add eyes to the fish. Okay, so now my picture is dry, so the paint is completely dry, like that. that was, I left it actually for about an hour because um, I got sidetracked, but uh, I think that half an hour would probably be enough. But of course you might have lots and lots of fish, so maybe leave it for a good long time. And now all I'm going to do is just, I'm going to draw an eye. Let's say sort of here, like that. An eye there, uh, maybe an eye there. Right, and then big eye here, like that, okay. Now, if you want to be very artistic, I think the way to, to make it look like you've got a white on the eye, sort of do that. But um, yeah, that, that is the extent of my artistry, I'm afraid. It's just like a little bit like that, there you go. Okay, and then you just go around and finish off your fish. Okay, so I'm finished with my picture. Now you see uh, some fish I have decided that we're gonna be pointing that way. Others are pointing that way. I sort of just looked at the shape of my fingertip and decided that was what was going to happen. Um, but um, yeah, I hope that you have fun with that and um, have a interesting time inventing different fish. And you can, of course, use more than one color of paint. So you can have like maybe another thumbprint there of a different color if you wanted to once it's dry. So enjoy it i hope you have fun and enjoy creating your own fish and uh, let us know how you got on right so it's time for our story today the story again is about a little girl called ada we know ada really well now don't we yes we do know her really well now Ada has had to find things to do over the last few weeks because her mummy is at home but she's working a lot and her daddy's at home and he's also working a lot and she's been asked to kind of find things to do to entertain herself. So she has started to go back to all her books because she's got loads of picture books. Some of them she had since she was really tiny and she thought they were probably not interesting anymore. But she started to look through them and there were some really interesting things in there. So she found a book about different types of fish and she thought that was great. It was really interesting. And did you know there are so many different types of fish that they come in all sorts of shapes and sizes. They can be big and small. They can be round and flat. They can look like huge balloons or really 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 tiny it's incredible she thought that was really interesting and there were a few interesting pictures which she found which i'm going to share with you so you can have a look at them yourself
mass and lots of fish. And so she looked at all of that fish and wondered, do they all live in the sea? Or do some of them live somewhere like rivers and lakes? Hmm, that's interesting. What do you think, Bob? I think that different fish need different things. So in the sea, the water is salty, isn't it? If any of you have been uh, at the seaside and you had by accident splashed yourself in the face and tasted the water, it's salty, isn't it? Now, if you go near a river and the water in there is not salty and there are some fish that need salty water and others that need only fresh water, so not salty water. Um, and it's really interesting how different fish need different things. So it's a little bit like us, isn't it? We all need slightly different things. So Ada was starting to think about what she needs at home. So she really, really loved playing with her friends. She really liked to do things together with other people. She's really, really enjoyed doing that. And of course now she was really missing her friends because she couldn't do the tea parties and dressing up as princesses and things like that. And her mummy, for example, really liked what she called peace and quiet, where she liked to sit down with a book and just have a little bit of time to read it and enjoy some peace and quiet. So Ada was thinking, how can I get what I need at this time because I can't play with my friends and she had an idea and her idea was this she had loads of soft toys like this one like Bob and some of them were dolls some of them were stuffed animals some of them were fish as well and lots of different types of stuffed animals soft toys so she decided she was going to gather all of them and pretend that they were her friends and she actually gave all of them names so she gave names to all of her soft toys of all the friends that she knew and so then once she set them all out in her bedroom and sat them comfortably she could then talk to them and she could pretend that they were playing that they were having a tea party and she could put on her princess outfits and have a giggle with them and even put on some music and dance around and so although it wasn't really the same as having friends at least she didn't feel completely alone and she could have a little bit of fun at this time and make herself feel a bit happier i hope that you've enjoyed this story and that you'll find something interesting for you to do to make you happy at this time Right, so now it's time for us to do some singing. But before we do that, let us sing happy birthday to all of you whose birthday it has been recently, because that's really important. We don't want to miss any birthdays. Okay, are you ready? Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, happy birthday. Happy birthday to you. I thought we could do a song together about fish since we've done a craft activity to do with fish and the song is one two three four five i'm sure you've heard it before so let's join in now this one you will need your fingers for because it's counting so are you ready one two three four five once i caught a fish alive six seven eight nine ten then i let it go again why did you let it go because it bit my finger so which finger did it bite this little finger on my right well done well i hope you really enjoyed our video today join us next time when we'll be sharing another interesting craft a story and some action singing. Until then, take care of yourselves. God bless, bye-bye.